Well, you know, um, <laughs> I hope I'm not considered to be one of those trolling people. But, you know, I mean, I guess dishonesty is just annoying to me, so intellectual dishonesty or just sloppy thinking or lack of logic or Mr. Know-it-alls or guys that are like, this is how it is, man. That's just how it is because I know everything. Well, I know everything too, so let me answer you. Look, look, you may hear in your mind something clear and concise. Actually, I'm hearing voices. Uh, but what I hear is something extremely nuanced and confusing. Now, I like this because... I think it is nuanced, but confusing. Okay. Well, you've never seen this chart. Tops become bottoms and bottoms become tops. Really? And what regularity does that happen? How do you decide how to bet size based on structure? Well, I'm not sure I actually... Uh, betting size betting is totally a whole other topic. And that's typically where the money's made. But let me just address this uh, one paragraph at a time here. Now, here is a typical scenario of, um, well, this is the reason why tops become bottoms and bottoms become tops. And it does happen. And I could show it to you over and over and over and over and over again. Of course, I don't know if you could get the robot to do it. So you might actually have to break out the mouse and place the orders. And I noticed that your auto trading Apple system is really not an auto trader. It's not fully automated. It doesn't execute. It sends you an email signal. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By the time I get to my email and put the trade on, I'm chasing it. Besides, let me guess, it buys at the market instead of a limit order like a professional, right? I, that's what I thought. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so <laughs> here you go, buddy. Support becomes resistance. Yeah, because guess what? Shareholders who bought at support will be inclined to sell when price rallies back to that level to recover their losses. Because they're losing. Hello. So, I hope that was instructive. And let me just blow through randomly charts here. Now, I did cheat a little bit because I put a three-period smoothing average on close. But, if you noticed, I don't know how nuanced this is, but, uh, wow. Um... Let's see, because uh, this is a one-hour chart, it works on all time frames. Um, let, let's find a top, okay? Well, here's a top became a bottom. Let's see. Here's a top that became a bottom. Hmm. Here's a, here's a triple top became a bottom. Here is a bottom to a bottom. Here, I mean, just, you know, read it and weep. Here's a top. Top, top becomes a bottom. Oh yeah, you got stopped out of this one. Duh! You're gonna lose money sometimes, bro. Okay, here, look it. Top becomes a bottom. Tight stop on that. Nice winner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here, look it. Top becomes a bottom. Now, I'm, I'm not, I didn't rehearse this, okay? Here, I'll take off all the uh, nuanced lines for you. I mean, I know you want to, I know you grew up on robots and you think that's how you play the world, but Here's a classic, British Pound. Um, yeah, I'm using technical analysis in terms of pretty crude, I would say. I'm using a moving average of, I think, uh, three period on here. This may be five. Let me check. We go indicator list. I'm, I'm using a special weighted average. It's called the linear weighted moving average of five. Actually, it's pretty smoothed out. Pretty conservative trading system here. Not a lot of signals, but real juicy ones. Here's a top became a bottom. Now, the beauty of this trade is that you don't have to be there for it. You do not have to sign up. You don't have to babysit your robot. You place this trade. Actually, this trade was placed uh, two weeks in advance. Top became a bottom. Gotta love it, right? The current trade I'm in right now, I'm hog long the pound. Thank you very much. Here is a top became a bottom. I entered. Now, as far as risk sizing, yeah, I'm actually trading quite a few different things. I'm scalping this area. I'm position trading this area. I'm, I mean, it's complicated size-wise. Um, and statistically speaking, statistics are crap. It's actually it's pure bullshit. Um, your statistical stuff is crap. You know why? Because you're curve fitting. You're saying, oh, statistically that worked out across this, this, and this, and this. Here's the top became a bottom right here. Maybe that you can catch this by your eye. I hope this isn't too nuanced for you. Uh, right here. 
Top becomes a bottom, right? How can you miss this crap, right? Bottom, bottom becomes a top. Is that a good trade? Where'd you put your stop? Here? 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 How much money did you make? Oh, pant loads. Yeah, you had to get your... You had, and then there's another thing. How about you just trade the, the round number? When you, see a, when you see the market near a round number? Don't give me statistics, man. You know, really, it's just... You, you're so... You know, I, I just... Yeah, I can't take it when I hear dumbness. I just... I can't take it. Does, does the top become a bottom? Really? Does it really become a pivot? I mean, it's just mind-blowing, man. Look at double top becomes a bottom. You didn't have to be there. You got filled. You didn't have to be there. You got filled. Um, here's another top becomes a bottom. Why, why all the bozos are showing up on the Internet? And if you're, you're worried about people trolling, dude, you should take that as a, um, a, 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 an invitation to learn something. You really think you know it all. Look at top becomes a bottom. Top becomes a bottom? Really? No way. Are you kidding me? Huh, never thought of it. Look at bottom becomes a top. Another top. It's crazy. Of course, this is the euro dollar on the daily. So I'm kind of cheating because this is a very liquid market. Top becomes a bottom. Now, actually, my bottom here, if I go to the, um, let, me see, let me see if I got the moving average running. So I've actually got the moving average running here. Now, if I put another uh, indicator on here, let me insert another moving average, and I'll go for a, it's the trend, it's a moving average. I'm going to choose a slightly different uh, pace here. I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the five. That was the three. Well, you got to go with the Fibonacci numbers here, right? So, this is a little bit more, um, you know, you could pick which one you want, right? But it's in that range. And the top becomes a bottom, right? Now, if I just did the line chart, you'll see the top uh, bottoms. There's, there's more entries, right? But I smoothed it out for you because I know. Here's the top becoming a bottom. It's time to buy the euro dollar. Another thing you could do is you could draw a trend line. Trend lines probably don't work either, right? There's no confluence here. There's no fact that this triple cues up to this top and this top became a bottom. I mean, I, I just don't know how you never saw this. Of course, if you're staring down the, if you're, if you're looking at the statistical output of percentages and all that garbage nonsense, then I guess so, right? I mean, I guess you can't see it. It's too nuanced and it's too confusing for you. Listen, not everybody's as smart as me, and obviously you're not that bright. I could show a three-year-old this system, okay? I've, I've marked all the tops and bottoms. This is the guppy. This would be the pound against the yen. Uh, when I first heard, I thought it was a fish. But So this is going up, obviously. Here's all the entries. Here, let me take this off. I don't want to confuse you. Here's a double top becomes a bottom. All right? And, and positions. What, what, what's your bet size? Pretty big because I'm right. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Just too much fun. It's too much fun when people ask me, does it really work? Oh, sell a book. Why would I sell a book? Here is the U.S. against the czar, whatever that is. Um, works in this market. I mean, the spread here will just blow your brains out, I think. Don't even trade this pair, but I'm just showing you it works. It works everywhere you plug it because human psychology is the same wherever you go. Um, and then I just watched one of your videos. This is too funny, man. Look at look at the bottom becomes a top. Uh, to, right? What? Where would you get in? Oh, here. Where, where'd you get in? What's the next trade? Oh, I bought this. See, I bought there. Look at look. I'm in. I made money. Look, it's crazy. Look at wait wait. Shh, shh. Holy Grail. People step back. Holy Grail. Ooh, he nailed that trade too. Top became a bottom. That's what I'm talking about. I seriously, man. Here's the Polish dollar against the dollar dollar. I forgot to fix the scale on these. Bear with me. Works here, too. I don't know why it works. It's so crazy. How, how big do I bet? I bet the ranch on these trades. Come on. I mean, this is stupid. Stupid obvious, right? What do you do now? You sell. Yeah, you just got filled there. You scalp it, and I'm going through it. Now, let me go to the um, 
Here is the footsie. It's topping out. Here, here's the. Uh, where's your entry here? Same, same story, different day, right? Top becomes the bottom. Uh, crude oil. Yeah, crude oil. I hope you're long crude. Um, top bottom entry there. If it was your entry here, see this top. Top becomes the bottom. Oh, went through it. I know. It's okay. Sometimes it. Sometimes this is Wyckoff theory too. If you look up uh, Richard Wyckoff, and as far as your stuff about Gartley's, holy crap, um, the Ikemushu cloud traders are the most profitable traders in a contest of people that know how to trade, uh, not people that do statistical crap. I mean, statistics are a joke, man. Obviously, you can already tell by your video that you did about candles that, yeah, if you fade the pattern, you make money. Well, duh. I mean, you don't just go in there blindly and trade this stuff, do you? Yeah, apparently you just want the robot to give you your email um, Apple trades that hopefully you got your cell phone on and hopefully you got your platform open. It's not automated. Why are you selling a $37 a month automated thing? It's not auto-executing. It's sending you an email? Or are you telling me it sends you an email that your trade's been put on? You're not even telling people that. So... <laughs> Good God, man. And yet, yeah, you are, you are a fool to go on the Internet with all the so-called trolls or people that are going to call you on your, on your BS lines. Sure, there you go, you know. What are you going to do, right? Yeah, you can't sell. So here you go. Let me, let me finish this, this uh, thing you wrote here. So you, uh, you are providing exact point that only technical analysis do well, have incredibly good intuition. Huh, thank you very much. Uh, they, they can't pull on a paper a pre-described method anyone could follow. You know, I'm sorry that if you're dumb, you won't be able to trade the system. Okay. You know what? Dumb people can't play guitar either. They also can't play drums. They also can't fly a Learjet. Okay. Let those people knit. Well, you know what? Knitting takes skill, too. Um, the only other thing that works consistently are arbitrages, True riskless arbitrages. You're kidding, right? So you want to trade risk-free on a robot. Next best are statistical arbitrages. Holy crap! I could do. I did an arbitrage video. I'll put the link inside this video of my arbitrage. It's called Dual Broker Arbitrage with a Four-Hour Chart Using RSI, which I've studied extensively, but I won't. It's a little too confusing and nuanced for the average uh, viewer, but. You could do broker arbitrage, right? You got a broker that's kind of retail, kind of lame, and you got ton brokers running. You got multiple desktops running. I won't get into it, but trust me, I I I I I smoke your doors when it comes to algorithms. Trust me. You may have worked at some microsystems, but guess what? Uh, chief architecture, but not chief trader. You notice? So uh, the best, next best statistical arbitrage. I, I don't know where you get this info. You must have just made this up yourself. I'm not claiming any any of this stuff. I'm, I'm just telling you what I know, what I see, and what I know about human behavior. And the markets are basically traded by humans, last I checked. Because the methods use investment bank hedge fund that's much simpler than your nuanced method. Of course, well, bankers aren't that bright. But but still too complex to teach the average trader. Eh, guess what? I guess I guess I've taken it too far, huh? The system must be able to be articulated when written down, shown to work on statistical certainty. You should adapt to changing conditions. Well, it does. See, uh, I mean, in other words, I move the line based on where the last known top bottom's at. Okay, that does take a little bit of work, you know. I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's not easy to go like this. Th this, I have the robot actually drawing. This is the euro against the Swiss. This is what they pegged it. This is the big... Uh, sell-off, spike, all the debacle, right? This is when it could probably go where no man's going before, right? So, yeah, I mean, come on, think about it, man. Um, there's the, there's the, this is what you have to do. You do have to find a bottom, a valley. Well, I'd call, for, for a person that doesn't know what a bo top and bottom is, I'll call them peaks and valleys for you. Okay, all the average traders out there, here is a valley became a peak. So a valley became a mountain, you sold, right? I don't know what more, you know, unless, unless you just uh, you just have like a, you know, you have a, a pacifier in your mouth with uh, a robot running. I mean, 
you are going to have to think a little bit on this stuff. Uh, here's, and this is a smoothed out, I'm not even using clothes. Like if I turn on clothes right here, this is the actual top, right? I'm smoothing it out to take some of the ambiguity out for you. This top became a bottom in the Swiss franc. It became a bottom again in the Swiss franc. That is the euro against the Swiss franc. Here is, um, when, when I, when I uh, create this moving average, which I think is either three or five, to smooth it out a little bit, because um, I didn't want somebody to say, well, I took this double top here. I'm like, yeah, I know, but you have to smooth it out a little bit and take the noise out, right? Of course, if I was on a different time frame, it's all time frame dependent, right? <clears throat> uh, smaller time frame, more trades, right? Like, say, if I, if I go to the four-hour guppy, it's going to look a little different. It's a little less risky to trade the four-hour guppy because uh, this top, which, you know, it, it, after the market goes down, we know this top exists. So this is the trade plan. After you see a top, you place a buy limit there, all right? You see a top. In other words, um, the market has to be above, of course, for you to place a buy limit. But this instance here, uh, the market goes zooming up, and you're waiting for it to come back and fill you on this double top. It never does that. But guess what? The beauty of the system is. See this top? The market goes zooming up without you. But when it comes back, it makes a bottom. And you get in there at the bottom. But the beauty of it is, is that you never lost any money on this until you, the only risk you have of losing money is to get filled. Oh, it's your bet size. Well, my bet size, like I said, um, it, it's, I, I have enough money in the account. See, this one never got filled. But what I'm doing is, I'm not just placing one order. I'm scaling in like a professional. I have, a, I have buy limits all the way down to China, typically. And they expire within a certain amount of time. Now, it's a four-hour chart. So, yeah, this is uh, two weeks. Let's go to the one-hour guppy. Let's look for entries on the one-hour guppy. Okay. The one-hour guppy entry would have been, you know these three tops exist, right? You know that. You can hopefully see, I'm sorry, peaks, mountaintops. Okay, you know those three exist, so you place a buy limit there, right? You got picked up. You got an exit at the last known low, which is here. You know this low exists. You don't know about the data that's coming next, of course, right? I mean, I just don't know how you're not seeing this stuff. If this is nuanced to you, then you should stick to the robot, and you should just do your statistical analysis and do your um, zero risk hedging. Okay, let me go back to this. See if I can. Um, as you spend a lot of time writing this, I figure it needs at least a. Okay, uh, a system must be able to be articulated. No, it doesn't. Not for me. I mean, that's why I guess I'm not selling it, and I don't want to babysit somebody's moronic brain that can't see it. I, I'm giving it to you for free right here. If you can't take home what I've seen, if you can't take this and get your brain around that, yes, you shouldn't be trading. You need a drill cup, and you need a babysitter, okay? Um, now, okay, let me go here. A system of, um, you know, with minor... Uh, changing conditions. Yeah, I've changing conditions here. In other words, I'm not going to do this because this would be a little bit too much. I, I'm afraid this would be overload most people's minds, and that would be to draw a trend line on this mess, right? And if you just drew a trend line on the my three period or five period linear weighted moving average or simple moving average, something, right? I could even draw it on the wicks for God's sakes, but the wicks are bullshit. That's just market maker spikes. I, so now you have this trend line here. You have uh, this trend line here, right? And you have this top becoming a bottom. Do you really need any more info than that to enter this trade? Okay, let me go to the next. So, let me see here. Um, so now, I've uh, listen. I've been doing this a long time. So I've been trading longer than you've been doing this, than you've been working as the chief architect. Okay. You know, and uh, so you form it, Sun Microsystems, wonderful. My team had a major hand in the building of the infrastructure and systems of most of Wall Street. But again, like I said, that's not trading. You're building, you know, writing code isn't trading. I'm so sorry to tell you this. Um, we are in, 
We were in every major firm, including the major markets and exchanges. Yeah, but you weren't trading. I've seen it all. <laughs> You've seen it all. Uh, you haven't seen what I'm doing, and I've actually explained it to you, and I don't know if you got it, but uh, I have yet to see a panacea. Well, I'm not claiming panacea, whatever the hell that is. I'll have to look that up in the dictionary. Even even front-running arbitrages of ETFs don't always, don't always work. Well, you know what? I front-run all the time. I place orders in. The market's not open now, so I can't show you my fancy dancy system. But in other words, I would put a buy limit here that expires in four hours. I'll put a buy limit here that expires in eight hours. I'll put a buy limit here that expires in 12 hours because MetaTrader just added five uh, tra trading plans. I can put a buy limit here that ex expires in a week. I can walk away from all those trades and trust and believe that if the market comes back to that, buyers are coming in. Statistically, 90% of the time. Okay? Think about it. Look at it. Just look at the chart. Do me a favor. Uh, well, I, uh, no, don't do me favors. I hate when people say that. Um, you know, if you don't believe me, break out your, you know, I don't have the Apple chart up here. Um, the Apple Daily. Let me see if I get Apple on my uh, on my list of instruments here. I, I don't know if they have Apple in here, but um, got to have everything else. Um, maybe it's on this uh, El Pari broker. But, you know, if you want to do arbitrage, you do it between brokers. You don't necessarily, you don't want to, uh, you don't need to do it. Um, arbitrage, there's so many forms of arbitrage. I mean, I guess that you're just, uh, yeah, you want passive income. I got it. Um, yeah, who doesn't want to just sit there and have money just rolling in? Of course, I don't know, you know, if you think I'm a, if you think I'm a pain in the ass and if you think I'm a, uh, a troll or whatever that is. Just imagine your your uh, customers that are just going to just be like, huh, I don't get it. How come I'm losing money? And then they're going to want their money back and they're going to try to sue you. And You just got to love all that, right? Uh, sorry, I don't have the Apple chart, but markets are markets. It doesn't matter. I mean, this, is the, this is the gold market here. And then I just watched a video where you said, oh, gold, well, that's a whole different beast. Is it really? Gold at 1300 gold at 1200 gold at 1250 you, you can't see the... You can't see you would buy it at 1200 You can't see this is a double bottom. I mean, you know, here's your trend line on gold. Really, you can't see the you can't see that it that 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 two tops became a bottom after it broke out, breaks out, finds support there. You can't see that. Is it just me? Am I just such a good trader? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. If you can't see that this trend line broke and then it got resistance there, if you can't see that this um. Now, this is the daily gold chart, okay? If you can't see, like, um, you know, the four hour, let's go to the four-hour chart because I had this great uh, thing, um, the four-hour chart, where it happened right at, uh, I marked it off here, right? Um, you know, I would print it out and scribble it with a crayon, but this bottom becomes a top on the four-hour in gold. You really can't see that. Okay, well, this this is a big pivot. This is a big deal, this price. And look at this price. The computer drew this for me. It's called $1,350 on gold. See? Look at that. Look how it bounced off that. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Now, let me turn on the candles. You can see where the market makers had their fun, right? Where they, they just freak people out with all those little, uh, those little wicks there. But in the end, if you have the patience and you can see the top of the gold chart of the here's the here's your entry okay here's your new entry and here's to be a candlestick uh situation here there's a four hour gold look at um let's do the old top bottom theory this is called bottom top theory bottom becomes a top thank you very much you have your stop up here how much money did you make i don't know statistically i have to double check that let me look left even jason knows how to look left yeah look left oh, let's see how that looks like a Resistance there. I can't understand why sellers came in here. I just can't understand it. Maybe the guy that bought here, he shit his pants and he thought, you know, I got to get out at even. People love to get even with the market, right? So what do you do next on gold? Well, you know what? This top became a bottom. It launched up like this. You could draw a trend line. I mean, it's just like this stuff just, how can you not see this stuff? You're killing me.